welcome back guys to yet another episode of my NBA 2K15 My League series with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Right out of the gates, Andrew Wiggins getting the steal, scoring his first baskets of his hopefully illustrious NBA career. So on the very next possession for us, Andrew Wiggins does it again, swooping through the lane, misses the first try but gets it in the second try. Andrew Wiggins scored the first six points for the Milwaukee Bucks in this one. Andrew Wiggins is going to be huge for us. He is that centerpiece for this team. And as you see, Klay Thompson spitting in the paint, getting the left-hand layup. So this is the season opener against the Memphis Grizzlies. I apologize I didn't bring a lot of these episodes to you earlier when 2K came out. I've just been busy. 2K servers haven't been working. And I've really been putting a lot of effort into the My Gem series with the Milwaukee Bucks. But... Since I have three main series on my channel right now, I will put even effort into all the videos. So here it is, man. Here is episode three, I believe, of the Minnesota Timberwolves My League series. And make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's smash 75 likes if you want to see another video tomorrow. I have the video already made and ready to go. All I got to do is hit public and that video will be ready for you guys. And also make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well. So Zach Levine checking in for the first time of his NBA career. I'm hoping Zach Levine has a good career in real life. And as you see, Mike Conley fouls him very hard on the layup right there. But right here, Costa Kufos. How the heck did he get that? And that was just an extreme fluke right there. He just got lucky. He's celebrating though. He's happy about that shot. And I'm happy for him. I mean, he is not really that great of a player. And he hits another shot right there, giving the Memphis Grizzlies a five-point lead. And Kufos one more time misses this time. But it's all good. That's going to wrap up the second quarter and the first half of this game. Timberwolves trail by five. But... Let's get right into the second half of this game. So we are back here in the third quarter. Ricky Rubio kicks it out to Clay Thompson. Misses the three right there. I just could not get Clay Thompson's release in this game, man. I believe I shot like one for seven from the three-point line. It was just absolutely bad in this game. But Andrew Wiggins once again knocking down the shot. Andrew Wiggins, I'm saying, man, he's going to be... a a superstar in this league one day he's got a ton of potential as you see him doing it again over the memphis big men right there down in the paint scoring another basket he led the way in this game with i believe 18 points but tayshaun prince doing what he can do best and that is scoring the basketball looking like how he used to look back in his detroit pistons days but right here thompson picks it off going for the dunk on the other end of the court but right here marcus all gets blocked as zach grandolph can't finish it we get the rebound. We kick it up to Wiggins. Wiggins, alley you. I'm telling you guys, Zach Levine is an absolute beast in this game. Hopefully, he's a beast in real life because I'm excited to see what he can do in the NBA. But right here, Ricky Rubio finds Zach Levine. Zach Levine to Wiggins in the corner. And Wiggins going in with a circus shot gets fouled on the play right there. But, oh no, Kufis misses the dunk. Up to Wiggins. Oh no, not again. Literally seconds after the first alley-oop, Zach Levine and Andrew Wiggins hook up for another alley-oop in this game. And, you know, that was just the story of the game. We were swooping through the lane, getting a bunch of dunks and layups in this game. But right here, Memphis is going to take the lead by two. Tony Allen hits the shot. Now Wiggins with a fadeaway gets it to go, but the Minnesota Timberwolves still trail by two in this game. Now we kick it to Wiggins in the corner. Wiggins driving back out to Mo Williams, knocking down the three, shortening down the lead down to just one point. So with a minute and 20 seconds left in this game, the Memphis Gri Grizzlies pull away. They got a seven-point lead. Clay Thompson backs out three-point line, doing what he does best, knocking down threes. Part one of the former Splash Brothers. And, you know, it was just too little too late for us in this game. The Memphis Grizzlies were just overpowering. I do play on Superstar with simulation sliders. So, I mean, it's still a challenge playing these games. And uh, with Zach Randolph and Marcus Saul just killing it down low, it was just hard for us to play and... Clay Thompson, last shot, prayer. He does get it to go. Too little, too late in this game, man. 21 seconds left. We are only down three. Vince Carter gets fouled, and they would end up sealing this game at the free throw line. So that would wrap it up for this game. We do end up losing this game by, I believe, five points. It was a great game. I mean, Timberwolves have a ton of potential. 
definitely showed it in this video but if you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button let's hit 75 likes if you want to see another video tomorrow i already got it edited and uploaded i just gotta hit public to get that video out to you guys so yeah make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'm out